Okay, um, so I have a fresh copy of Retro Pie here. Um, I'm basically making this video because um, I had a I've had a customer that has a couple of issues with configuration, and then they tried to configure the buttons in the main menu, and uh, you know it, it got messed up somehow. So no big deal. Um, there are probably First of all, um, when you get to the screen, you can see I don't have a controller plugged in. So, um, this is not a controller I have at the moment, but um, this is also the only pie. <laughs> I saved this one, it's my 8 gig model, and uh, you know, I, so that I'll have something to configure some SD cards with and whatnot, do some testing. Anyway, I, I, as you can mostly tell, my videos are unscripted, so I'm kind of just go off of whatever's going on. So I'm trying to get some coffee made. <laughs> anyway, so when you're first here, there, there's a couple of little things. I'm just gonna show you this super quick. So you hold down A, and I'll say, hey, I found something. So you go up, down, left, right. I'm gonna use the plus and minus as, since this is a Nintendo Switch controller, I'm gonna use these. This is like home and uh, whatever the other button is. Very difficult to tell actually. Look closer. Man. My goodness. Yeah. So here's start. Start, select, and then A, B, X, Y, L, B, R, B, L, T, R, T. Push in, push in, up, down, left, right. Up. Oops, I missed one. No, it didn't. Okay. And then your hotkey, I always use the same as a select, which is going to be the minus sign on this one. And then hit OK. Now one of the things I want to tell most people is that when you get to this point, you know, we have not much to go on. And we're going to need a keyboard because let's say your controller doesn't work. Now, I have just standard, you know, Crappy normal detail, the normal thing. Now, the thing is, <clears throat> all the stuff that I have sent people, um, this key a keyboard has been configured. So, this will be start and select right next to it. So, these are always start and select. And then you got A, B, X, Y. Um, you really don't need to know the other stuff, but those are going to be your key components about navigating. The start and select is key, but then when you're in the, um, as you see, uh, nothing works right now. My controller is the only thing configured, so I hit start, I go down to configure input, and hit yes. And so now I'm going to hold down the A button, and it says keyboard. I'm going to hit up, down, left, right. And then I hit start, select, and then A, B, X, Y. Self-explanatory. Now here's where the part is. Let's say you don't want to configure the rest of that stuff. Whatever you chose as your A button at the top of the menu, hold this down for three seconds and it'll skip. And I'll skip to the next. Let's see if I got this on. Okay. So I'm skipping all these. However, I want my hotkey, I'm gonna still make it as the what I chose for the select button. And then to get out of this menu, you have to hit the A button, not the enter button, the A button. And it'll save this now. So, alright. So I'm going to hit the B button and go back. So, navigation with the keyboard. Uh, the key enter button is going to bring up that menu, which is not what you want. You want to use the A button. You go into here and B button is back. So A. And one of the things you can do to help quickly reset your controller settings is go down to um, Retropod Setup, hit A to get in here. And we'll give this a minute. Um, I've never ran it, so it always takes a few extra seconds the very first time you've ever ran the settings menu. Um, I do have it. Um, Connect to the internet. I, I don't think that matters, but um, anyway. 
So now, now that we're in this menu, we're going to use it like a keyboard. We're going to hit enter to go past this. And we're going to use the up and down and the enter as you would a normal keyboard in this menu. Okay, so what we're going to do is go down to configuration tools and um, trying to think what it's actually called. I don't reset my controllers very often. Um, so let's try to think. Outside. I've been in here before. I know it's in here. There's a reset. Uh, USB special. Yeah, let's go back. All right, let's go to. Yeah, it shouldn't be in anything else. It should be in the main. See what config edit looks like. No. Uh, advance. No. Back. Uh, so. Um, okay, maybe it's under emulation station. There we go. So. So it's under emulation station. And I say clear or reset emulation stations input configurations it's going to get rid of both the controller and the keyboard and then it'll come back when you come back on it'll go to the menu um, now I'm in this menu with a keyboard because this is a keyboard functioning menu so it doesn't matter if I clear this out this all right it says are you sure you want to wipe it out it'll prompt you to reconfigure the next time you start hit OK now I'm hitting the arrow here to go over to cancel and then hit enter I'm hitting over again to hit back and enter and then I want to go down to reboot and enter are you sure you want to reboot left from right mode yes now I'm leaving both controllers um, you know, keyboard and one controller hooked up I'll show you what this looks like uh, and there are tons of videos I know some of you probably like this is so boring I've seen this before um, but you know I just want to show this and then I want to add an additional configuration section if this doesn't work right back but um, we're gonna add some make sure you boss is ensure uh, yeah all right so here we are back to the menu I hold down the a button up down left right start select down, 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 down. down left right up down left right hockey okay and here we are so back in here and everything's working so the next thing I want to do though is I want to go back into retro pass setup now I, I selected it with my controller inside the menu, but I'm going to put the controller down and use the keyboard inside here to navigate, okay? So we're going to go to Manage Packages, Optional Packages, I believe. Let's move those. Might be... I can't imagine it's under experimental, but we'll give it a shot. So here's this one, which is the oh, I don't want to guess the core um, retro. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to install this. Now I have to be connected to the internet because it's going to go out and download the and compile and install this particular um, emulator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video for now. Um, when this gets done, I'm going to copy over. Um, some Saturn games in case you guys haven't seen this before this is um, an external hard drive
SD. Looks like a Nintendo cartridge. It's a terabyte. And uh, anyway, I'm going to copy some Sega Saturn games over to the Saturn. And that's just going to be a lot of boring content of watching this install and compile. And then I'm going to copy some files over. Anyway, we'll get back to the menu. We'll just have the generic menu. And we'll I'll show you that how to configure inside there if, um, if for some reason the Saturn isn't responding to your controller. Okay.